A lot has happened to the Assassin's Creed series in the seven years since Assassin's Creed 3 first came out. It was quickly overshadowed in 2013 by the follow-up Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, but that's in part because of how well AC4 built upon the naval combat concepts that 3 introduced. So while Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered does do a great job bringing the world and characters of this 2012 game up to 2019 standards, there's still a lot of creakiness to it that even the gameplay tweaks it makes can't entirely smooth out. Assassin's Creed 3 and the bundled-in Vita Port Liberation are both available in 4K for PS4 Pro and Xbox One X, but only at 30 frames per second. On PC, a GeForce GTX 1080 and i7 770K were able to run ultra settings at 1440p at a solid 60 frames per second where it's locked. Everything that's not alive in Assassin's Creed 3 now looks incredibly realistic. The brick buildings and cobblestone streets of Boston are absolutely amazing in their new fidelity. The Wilderness 2 has a new life about it. The frontier isn't nearly as breathtaking as the one Rockstar crafted in Red Dead Redemption 2, but it's almost on par with Ubisoft's two most recent Far Cry games. The living and moving creatures of Assassin's Creed 3 don't fare as well. That's not to say they look bad, far from it. Clothing, skin, and hair all benefit from better textures and improved animations. However, in motion, it's hard to miss the fact that this game was clearly built for the previous generation. There are also some minor sound sync issues, and lips almost never match the words. It's a little better than it originally was, but it's still annoying. Oh, now you wanna know! Captain Kid's letters, boy! Another place where AC3 shows its age is mission structure. A staggering percentage of your time is spent watching cutscenes and then walking slowly along with another character while they rattle off expositional dialogue. There are some quality of life updates that make quite a difference, however. One of the most welcome is a small but tremendous improvement to the minimap that changes the red dots showing enemy locations into icons that now let you know, at a glance, which direction an enemy is looking and what type they are. There are plenty of other improvements, like the ability to craft weapons that were previously only available for sale and increased opportunities for stealth kills. It seems like an Assassin's Creed staple now, but hiding in the bushes and whistling to attract the attention of guards wasn't in the original game. And the silent hidden blade is now the default stealth assassination weapon, so you don't need to worry about blowing your cover. While they aren't game-changing additions, it would be hard to go back to playing an older version without them. This is certainly the way to revisit Assassin's Creed 3 if you're so inclined. For more on Assassin's Creed 3, check out our graphics comparison, or see what's new in the series with our reviews of Assassin's Creed Odyssey and its legacy of the First Blade DLC trilogy. And for everything else, keep it right here on IGN.